Chloe Demure of Save the Victor Roll here. How are you this Saturday? Um, I just decided I think that I want to play with some of the things that I got in my Beautylish Lucky Box that I posted a video for yesterday. Um, I've got my base on, but we've got some Natasha Denona to play with, some Jouer, uh Wayne Gosh brush and some Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. So we're gonna start with our eye look. I usually do eyes first and then base in case of fallout, but since I'm not, um, I didn't receive any new base products, we're just gonna go with what I got yesterday. So I thought I'd just do kind of the base first, but I do want to prime my eyes, which I am currently using the Juvia's Place Concealer. Um, I do have some eye primers, but I really quite like this. It's done really well. It doesn't seem to really crease. It keeps everything all day long. Um, and then I just got this little cheap brush from Sephora that I use just for eye primer. And we're just gonna go in and prime our eyes. If I'm looking away, it's because I'm looking at a close-up mirror here. So there we go. So this palette is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. So there's lots of pinks and purples. So um, we're going to um, try and see how much we can do with just the one brush because that was the brush that we got, the Wayne Goss um, number three, um, large. I know it's the crease blender, but um, let's have some fun with it. So we're gonna go um, and we're going to take Valentine which is that shade right there. And oh, there's a little bit of kick up in the pan, but I don't I don't mind because then I just go and pick the, um, the kick up up and then I just use it. So let's just go. I like to put like a lighter color just to kind of um, set the, the concealer a little bit and then to you know, kind of start the color, especially if I don't quite know where I'm going. Um, just having the light color to start usually helps. They seem to blend really nicely. This is my first palette. I mean, I have a blush and highlight palette from her, which I quite like, which is half creams and half powders, but this is looking quite nice. Okay, so now we've got a little bit there, kind of set a bit there. So I'm going to, I have um, one of the color switches and I'm just going to switch that out there. And then I'm gonna go into um, Intense and that's just the color that's right next, next to that one there. And then I'm going to use that is my darker darker color. I think I'm gonna go for a lighter lighter look today because I may want to play with eyeliner. We'll take a look. So usually I just kind of put um, the darker color into the corner, outside corner I should say, and then just kind of start the placement. And then if I want to do, which I really like to do, I like to have kind of it to go up a little bit, I just use one of the cards that I get inside some of the makeup orders. So this one is from Game Beauty. So um, that's a really fun palette. I'm going to play with that one some more. So I'm going to take some more of Intense. And then I just, what I do is I just find where I want to put my line and then I just put a little line. And that kind of gets my outer corner started there. And especially if you're using a fluffy brush or you're like me and can't draw a straight line with a ruler, this helps a lot. So let's go there. So there we go, we've got that started. That's looking really nice. It's kind of like a raz, light raspberry color. It's really nice. Um, I am going to take um, a denser brush and see if I can pack that in a little bit more. So um, I really like the Kaleidos brushes a lot. I hope um, these come back in stock and that I'm going to buy another, another set. Um, I do have the new Angelica Nyquist palette coming from Kaleidos and I'm really excited about it. So hopefully it's going to ship anytime. So let's take a little bit more of Intense and then let's again see if we can darken that outer corner there. Oh yeah, there we go, that helps. Just having a little bit denser of a brush there. So there we go, we've got some darker on the outside there. I think that looks really good. And we'll take that blending brush there and then just soften the edge a little bit. There we go. 
hell. Let's see what else we've got in here that we like. Um, so I've got a few shimmery ones here. There's one that's called Transparent. So let's see how that one looks. That's the one that's right up by the purple one over here. So I'm gonna take that same dense brush, put it through the color switch, and then I'm gonna spray it a little bit. Um, right now I've got the Kimchi setting spray. I really like this for um, shimmers and, and, and shadows, but it's a little shimmery, so I just wanna make sure that I get a good good payoff. So let's just pop that in there. Let's see what we get. Oh, well, that's nice. Sometimes I pick up the color first and spray it, and then sometimes I, um, if I just wanna do a light bit to start, then I'll spray the brush first and then I'll dip in a little bit. Well, that's really pretty. Okay, let's see if it goes on even better with the finger. I find a lot of times shimmery shades go on really nice with the finger. Oh yeah, there we go. Really old school, like me. There we go. Yeah, that looks really, really good. Okay, so I think I'm just going to add with the fluffy brush a little bit more of that uh, medium pink color into the center. A little bit, blend that a little bit more. And there we go. We're just gonna go a simple eye look today. I'm just kind of bumming around today. Got an errand to do in a little bit, so I don't need to be um, glammed up for days and have a huge eye look, but I think I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so now for the bottom of the eye, again, I'm gonna use one of these little Kaleidos brushes, a little bit more detail, and then I'm going to put it into an even darker color and this one is called Heart. So that one is right there in the palette. And uh, so let's dip it in first. And then because I did my base first, let's again spray. So that way I don't get any on the bottom. I don't wanna have to redo my makeup. Ooh, this is a nice intense color. Let's do a little bit of highlight. And again, another Kaleidos brush. Um, and then this was the color, it's Jue. It's in Skinny Dip. Let's see how that works out. It's a little bit darker of a highlight than I normally use, but um, when I do the buffing technique afterwards, I usually will settle things down a little bit. So we'll just put some on the top there. All over there. Oh, that's nice. Tip of my nose, do a little bit kind of more on the side of my nose, kind of where I normally get a little bit um, shiny. Top of the lip, underneath the lip. Maybe a little bit over here. A little bit over there. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like it. Got some bling there, you got some shine. Yeah, I think that's nice. Yeah, I like it. Great. All right, so that was the Jouer in Skinny Dip. All right, so next, let's do our lips. So I have the color Hot Emily. It's kind of this nice corally pinky color, so I think that should go okay. And then um, I don't have a matching lip liner, but I do have a reddish one from Charlotte Tilbury, and since this is Charlotte Tilbury, I thought I'd grab that, and then we'll just give a little line to the lips. Ooh, we should have sharpened it first. Definitely not a color I would normally use. I'm usually really a, all the shades of red. I literally have all the shades of red. I think that looks good. I like it. It's a little brighter than the eye look, but that's okay. We're just playing here today. And then um, I'll just take one more look at the eyeshadow, see if I wanted to add any additional color. This brush is really nice and soft. I really like it. Let's just take the blend there a little bit, soften it out. Maybe add just a little bit 
more of that intense color. Yeah, I think it's cute. Excellent, just like a first impression. All right, so, so this is kind of like a Wayne Goss technique. I'm not sure if anybody else had done it before him, but that's where I learned it from. So once you've kind of done your full face and you've got your highlighter and everything on, you take a pressed powder and then a big floofy brush and then you just put it in the powder all over your face like so and then it just kind of settles everything in melds everything together really nice and then say if you've gone a little ham on on highlighter or on blush it just makes it really nice and puts it really nicely together I really, I really like this and I think it helps too also to keep everything um, lasting longer so I'll just close that and pack there I think that looks good and then I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is my this is my absolute favorite. I had a few other favorites in the past, but I think this is like my holy holy grail. I love it. So there we go. And then usually I have one of the one of the fans, but I forgot to bring my fan out. So we'll just. And that's pretty dry. Then I think I am gonna do some eyeliner. Um, this is by a Vancouver company called Amaterasu. They make my favorite liquid liquid liner. Um, they do pencil ones and stuff as well. I really like their brow, their um, liquid eyebrow um, as well. So there you go. I think that looks cute. All right, so there's that. And then for my favorite mascara ever, I think this is kind of across the board, a lot of people's favorite is the Essence Lash Princess. I like the one in green. I've tried, I think the purple one as well, but I really quite like this one. I think it's the brush that I like because it's a bit of a smaller brush. And I take less chances of stabbing myself in the face. Or getting it smeared all over if it was a really big brush. Very simple, just giving it a try. There you go. Lipstick's nice and creamy. Eyeshadow's really good. Excellent, I like it. So uh, yeah, so if you wanted to give some of these a try, I'll um, put everything down and put some links in the description box, including some of the base products that I was using, like my blush and my brows, foundation, etc. Um, but that's it, I hope you have a great Saturday and uh, we'll talk to you soon, bye. Hey, it's editing me. Um, can you like and subscribe? Thanks. <laughs>